Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I have another crafty haul. Um, this one is all things I purchased at my local scrapbook store. Um, I will link them below and I will link everything below um, if you're interested and if you live in Canada. I don't actually know if they ship to US, but yeah, anyway. They'll be linked below so let's get started so this is a kind of like collective haul i didn't buy everything <laughs> at once so it's a little it's kind of a lot but let's just get into it so the first thing i bought is this pink fresh what do they call this stamp press tool and i don't have a stamp press tool but i've always wanted one because I actually have been using my sleeve like to press down on my stamp tool which like I don't know if it's doing the best but I wanted one of these <laughs> did I need it probably not but first of all it's pink and gold and it looks really pretty on your desk and yeah I just feel like I do get a better impression when I put you know when I actually press down so this should help me with that too and yeah I just had to get this so I'm gonna put it on my mat here this is actually new also but I got this at Michael's it's the we are memory keepers is that what they're called or we are something <laughs> anyway yeah I got a glass mat let me know what you guys think do you like the glass mat as the background for videos I don't know if it's too busy anyway yeah plus it came in this like really fancy box I don't know I just had to have that <laughs> um, then I got this um, this is the easy dots repositionable tape I guess I think it's from yeah it says here scrapbook adhesives so I got this because um, if you saw my Hero Arts video, I am going to be doing a class with them, well, following a class from them, and in the supply list, they said to have repositionable, um, tape, and I didn't have any, so I got this one. Plus, I just wanted that because... I don't know it's good like when I'm making albums and things if you want to put paper down but you don't want to glue it because uh, you're not sure if you're going to use it you can use something like that so yeah then I was very excited because they just got these in from Dress My Craft this is the three-in-one angle punch and they got a bunch in but I specifically wanted this one um, you may have seen in what video was that I'm not sure maybe my Valentine's Day project share video I was saying how much I really wanted the crocodile but with the angles and I couldn't find it anywhere but then they got this one and it's a lot more affordable because you know the crocodile is more expensive because it's like a big clunky tool and you can cut like different kinds of material with it this will just be for paper, of course. Anyway, I don't use my crocodiles for anything other than paper. But yeah, so this I'm going to use for tags. And I'm very excited because, I don't know, it's just going to be easier than my We Are Memory Keepers tag trimmer, which is not that easy to use. So I had to get one of these. Um, something else from Just My Craft this is the ergo bone folder so i do have their other bone folder just get it here this one um i love this thing i'm never going back <laughs> to anything else um it really doesn't like scratch your paper or damage anything and i use this for pretty much everything like to burnish to fold cards anything like that but this one I wanted because when I make albums 
you know, it's like a wide surface that you want to burnish down. And I think it will just be easier to use something like this. Because I've, I've actually been using this, like, on its side. But sometimes, like, I press and it, you know, it flips. I don't know. <laughs> it's not a necessity, of course. But I just think this will be easier. And, um when you do burnish things it is very helpful if you didn't know already because it spreads the glue um under your paper so you don't have like the glue lines so yeah i learned that from tiffany to always burnish <laughs> you, you know if you also watch tiffany from let's get scrappy so yeah i saw that they had this one and i had to get it i don't know why it comes in like its own little pencil case thing I don't know where I'm supposed to put that, but I don't know. You could fit both of these in there if you wanted to. Then I got some things from Pretty Pink Posh because I had to get this. This is the uh, Bunny Face Shaker Die. So as the name suggests, you create a shaker with this. And I've seen people use this on the front of cards, but also on its own. It's a really cute, like, gift tag. Or even, like, on an Easter basket. I think I'm going to do a tutorial with this because I did have someone ask me to do a tutorial on those Easter baskets that I made with just my scoreboard and um, paper. So I might do, like, a, a bunch of tutorials in one video and just have like timestamps for those who want to see something specific because that basket tutorial is going to take like five minutes <laughs> so I might as well make it a whole video um, because I did have people ask me about other things too so yeah but very excited for this I know it doesn't look like much from here and there's no picture to show you but yes just trust me that it looks very cute <laughs> when it's done. Um, also from Pretty Pink Posh, I got two stencils. This one I believe is new. Of course, yeah, there's no picture. Um, so how do I <laughs> show you this? I don't know if you can see, but it's actually flowers and leaves in like a crisscross pattern. And I saw a card made with this in the background and the bunny face. So I was like, I need to recreate that because it's so cute. Plus then this stencil could, you know, be for anything. It doesn't have to be specific to Easter or even spring. It's just a nice floral decor. So I got this. And then um, when they got in the new stencils, I think... They got back some old ones, or maybe maybe they didn't have this one before. But this is the Layered Argyle. Sorry, I didn't say the name. This one was the Layered Floral Vines stencil. This is the Layered Argyle. And I got this one because I have another shaker die from Pretty Pink Posh. It's a little ghost that says Boo, and it's so cute. And a lot of people... Uh, I guess because this came around Halloween, they used this in the background in like Halloween colors with the shaker on top and it just looked really cute. I think specifically Kathy Zilski did a video of a card using those so I had to get this one too. So yeah, two stencils. Um, then I saw this, and this is Valentine's Day themed, but I don't really care because I craft for Valentine's Day every year, and Valentine's Day comes back every year, so I might as well get some Valentine's Day stuff while it's available. This is from Paper Rose, um, which is an Australian brand, I assume, because their website is dot au so this is a nomi hugs uh card making kit and i just thought this was the cutest thing ever 
Of course, Valentine's Day themed things can be for any time, unless they specifically say Valentine's Day. I think one of the cards says Happy Valentine's Day. I'll just show you the cards. So this is what you can make. And there's no other instructions, so it's really just, if you want to make these cards, just look at the picture and recreate it. But you could do anything you want, really. But I usually like to, you know, copy the, the photo because they're already so cute. So yeah, this one says, I love you, which could be any time of year. But this one does say, Happy Valentine's Day. This one says, Love with I love you and look how cute the gnomes are and I love the colors too this one doesn't say anything well it says love but it's more like a a visual kind of look and I love the grid style cards this one is actually a birthday card it says happy birthday so that's fun and then this one again says I love you and I love the gnomes because they're like cute gnomes. Sometimes gnomes could be a little creepy, <laughs> but these ones are cute. And yeah, like I said, love the colors. So in the kit, you get a six by six paper collection. It's 18 double-sided pattern papers, three of each um, with 12 designs. So I'll show you. How cute this is. Look at these. So, um, paper rose, their paper is not matte. But it's also not that shiny. I was kind of expecting it to be shinier. I don't know if it's just this collection or these card kits that aren't that shiny. But yeah, usually their paper is glossy. So some people don't like glossy paper. But I don't mind this. You know, especially because I'm not going to be, like, die-cutting this paper. It's just for, you know, creating cards. So, anyway, I just thought it was really cute. So, you have, like I said, it's double-sided. So, you have designs on the back. I love the feathers, too. And look at this one. Gnomes in, like, coffee cups. It's the back. These are um, little cut aparts. I think that's what you'll need to create this card. You'll have to trim those down. There's hearts. Oh, this is cute too. Roses. I think it's repeating now. Yeah, so that's the paper collection. Then you also get the die cuts. This is for A5 sheets of pop-out die cuts. And I love that they're pop-out. I hate fussy cutting, if you didn't know already. So yeah, I would much prefer something like this. Oh yeah, it says here, made in Australia. So yeah, look it. I just love them. Yeah, these are, they feel nice too. So, there's those ones. I love the cups in this collection also. And the birds. <laughs> Everything's just really cute. Oh, that's the front. So those are the um, die cuts. Uh, I should also mention this is not a new kit. I don't think they make them like this anymore That where they come in this bag um, because she did have some newer ones in the store and they didn't come like that. So just if you're wondering. And then you get the card bases. Um, these are actually not scored which I mean I don't really know why <laughs> because they're all the same size, so you have to score them in the middle anyway. But yeah, they come unscored, but that's fine. I mean, it's not going to take me very long to score um, 
paper. Yeah, but it's nice paper. It feels, I don't know if it says the weight, but it comes with eight, and these are A5 white card bases. Yeah, I assume it's 100 or 110 pound. So that's the Paper Rose Nomi Hugs card kit or card making kit. Very excited about that. Um, then I also got this. So you guys might know if you've seen my other videos, I am mostly a user of the Simon Says Stamp Big Mama foam tape and I'll show you. This is what mine is looking like now. So it's not really a big mama anymore. Um, but I love this tape because of its um, thickness. So it's actually not thick at all. I think it's like 1 16th. Um, but I love it. I feel like it still gives me the dimension that I want and it doesn't make my cards too bulky. So I was planning on just repurchasing this one when I needed to. I still think, like, I have a lot of this left, considering, you know, it's still pretty big, but it's like this big when you first get it. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the Altenew. But anyway, this is the Altenew Instant Dimension Foam Tape. And I know that this one is thicker, but let's open it. I just wanted to try this because everybody's, like, raving about it, <laughs> so... I kind of had, you know, some crafting FOMO, I guess. Um, so yeah, I have a, a backup foam tape now. So this is the Altenew. And it probably just says on it. Okay, I don't... Yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. I need <laughs> things in inches or else I don't know what they mean. But let's see. I think this is double the width yeah I'm pretty sure so I don't know if you could see that oh it stuck to me can you see the difference yeah I think you can so if this is 1 16th I think this is 1 8th I'm gonna measure it on my other mat because it has <laughs> Oh, I do have sixteenths here. I don't know. This is not an one eighth either. So, anyway, if you guys know how to read that, then you'll know. <laughs> but it is thicker than the Simon Says Stamp Big Mama foam tape, but it's still not extremely thick, which I like. So yeah, I'm excited to have this. This is another giant roll, so I should be good on my foam tape for a while. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I got that. Um, then I had to get this collection, the Winnie the Pooh Echo Park collab. I just love it. I love the colors. I love that it's like storybook Winnie the Pooh and not like the cartoon, if you know what I mean. It's more, it's just more like classic. So, yeah. I got this. I think I got, no, I didn't get everything, but I got a lot of things. So this first thing here, this is the frames and tags. And that's what it looks like. I love it. I don't know if you guys want me to pull everything out. A lot, I will say a lot of the things in this collection are the same. Like the, there's repeats from this and the chipboard and the stickers and yeah but I still love it I'm just letting you know you might see some repeats so maybe you don't need the whole collection but I usually <laughs> just get everything that I can so yeah the frames and tags then this is the ephemera which looks like frames also but it's different then I got the chipboard phrases because I love to have these for um, 
albums for covers or even on the inside because they're not like super thick and if you didn't know you could always make these thinner by peeling some of the layers from the back but I usually just leave them as they are but just look how cute this is any day spent with you is my favorite day I love it and this is okay that so this was the chipboard phrases but and this is the chipboard accents honestly I don't see much of a difference but yeah I needed both I guess I mean they are different but it's just like what makes this one phrases because this has phrases on it too and this has things that don't have phrases so I don't know <laughs> anyway I got both of those yeah aren't these colors so fun it's very cute I love this Eeyore with the his tail then I got the collection this I will um, open up so yeah this is the 12 by 12 collection kit have the three by four cut apart. Actually, this, yeah, it's called three by four journaling cards. Even the back is very cute. It's just a tone on tone with hearts. I love this paper. Just a bunch of Winnie the Poohs with red on the back. This one is called Winnie the Pooh. I love that there's bees also. <laughs> oh, but I love the back of this too. This gingham, this is called Sweet Honey Bees. Then you have the four by six cut apart. The, well, six by four journaling cards. And it has this like kind of burnt orange on the back. Then you have all the little animals here. And this on the back. Um, so this collection, I feel like you could do baby albums with and you can do them for like a girl or a boy. Or just somebody you don't know the gender, you know, of the baby. Because it's very gender neutral. And, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of making a baby album for my cousin. Because her baby is turning one very soon. And I thought it would be a cute, like, first birthday gift. And she could fill it with all the photos she's taken of him. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that could be very cute. Because otherwise, I don't know. What else would you do with a Winnie the Pooh kit? I mean, you can make yourself a, an album. Or like a planner could be cute. Or like a notebook. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. It could be a lot of things. But this paper is called Winnie and Friends. I love this one too. This would be cute for a birthday like a birthday card like in a you know the background could be this there's yellow on the back this one is called Pooh's Grand Adventure and I love how many cut aparts are in here these are so cute these are just make really cute card fronts Ooh, I love this too though. This one's called the 4x4 journaling cards. We have more Winnie the Poohs and bees and honey. Ooh, I like this blue though too. This one's called Honey and Pooh Bear. Then you have the map of like the, their whole little neighborhood where all their houses are. I feel like that's so cute. And that orangey color again. 
This is the map for Christopher. I love that. More cut aparts, which I love. Different sizes. And this one is the multi journaling cards. Then we have all the little friends together. And this pretty blue. This one's called Friends Forever. Then we have a floral. I love it. <laughs> With the green on the back. This one's called Favorite Flower. And then we have the sticker sheet, the element stickers. So a lot of these, like I said, they're repeats from the chipboard and the ephemera. So I'll have to see like how it comes together if I do make an album, cause it's gonna be maybe a lot of similar phrasing, but that's fine. Cause it's just so cute. So who, who cares if it's, you know, duplicated. But yeah, I love these stickers. And then I got another collection from Echo Park that I couldn't resist. Also, this is a Tiffany influenced purchase because I think she's making some projects with this line for the country craft creations design team. I believe that's what she said. I could be wrong. But anyway, I just had to have it when I saw her haul this. So this is the Little Ladybug collection and it's by Lori Whitlock. I love the like picnic ladybug kind of theme. This would be really cute for um, summer projects, even spring. I've already seen ladybugs in my house, so I guess it's ladybug season already, even though it snowed today. Um, but this is called Wild and Free. Oh, I think I, I might be doing this one backwards. Cause I already opened this on my own time because I couldn't wait. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's the ladybugs on this side. Yeah, I'm doing this backwards. So let me just flip. I'll flip it this way. This is the sticker sheet, the element stickers. And I love it. Look at this. That is so cute for a card or a tag. We have travel mugs yeah it's just very obviously very ladybug theme so it's going to be a lot of the same colors but there is some yellow and green and like this minty color so that's really fun too then we have the well, this paper with the floral and the back. I love this back. This is cute as a bug. Then we have the cut aparts. And this floral. This is the 6x4 journaling cards. Okay, so I'm seeing now that Echo Park papers have the same names. <laughs> I don't know if I need to say them every time. Then we have this paper, which I love. I don't know if you can see, but um, there's only ladybugs on like a few of the flowers, which is really cute. And look at this, black with white and red. This one is Delightful Daisies. Also, another thing is that I love daisies, so <laughs> that's another reason why I love this collection. Then we have these red florals with green stripe. This is simply the cutest. I'm assuming you can buy these papers, you know, individually, so maybe you do want to know what they're called. But then this one is very cute. Always be yourself unless you can be a ladybug. Then be a ladybug. I like this one. You can't have a bad day wearing polka dots. So cute. 
yellow on the back. This is the 4x4 four four journaling card. Then more ladybugs and more florals. And a black polka dot on the back. This is called Ladybug Hugs. Ooh, then we have this strawberry paper. See, this is where it makes me feel like this is more of a summer collection. Um, I have been seeing strawberries in spring collections. And I don't know if it's just like where I live. But for me, strawberries are in season. Like at the end of the summer. Like in August. So I don't, I've never associated strawberries with spring. But let me know. Uh, what you guys think <laughs> but yeah this is very like a very summery page to me then we have red stripes on the back this is called sweet strawberries I love these um, cut aparts that are different sizes and this one even has tags if you can see very cute and little sentiments here um, I also feel like this could be a baby album paper because there's a lot of things that say like cute as a bug like this one says tiny but mighty little miracle very baby themed in my opinion um, but again another like general collection you could do a lot of different things with I love this like this on your card front I mean maybe put like a ladybug here that your card is ready to go <laughs> you're a little love bug so cute Ooh, i love this back though too um this is the multi journaling cards maybe this is why i always run out of like plaids and gingham and stuff because they're always like on the back of some other cute stuff that i need to use uh, but you'll see after this, I have one more thing, and it's just, like, pattern papers, so. Um, then we have this one with all the colors of the collection, which is nice. Ooh, I love this back, too, though, the polka dot. This is Ladybug Garden. Then you have just ladybugs. See that? love the back of this too. <laughs> Little ladybug. Then we have three by four journaling cards. So cute. I love this tag. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I hope they have that tag somewhere. And they do. I'll show you again. Um, I saw on the sticker sheet. But yeah, I love that. And then this is the back of that one. This, yeah, three by four journal cards, like I said. And just to show you again, where did I put the sticker sheet now? I mixed this all up. See, here's the tag. And it actually is like a tag sticker. So that'd be really cute if you put this on like black cardstock and dare I say, <laughs> fussy cut around you could actually just trim it with your trimmer which would probably be what I would do because it's all straight angles and then you have a cute little ladybug tag so that's something fun to do so I'm very excited to play with this I want to see what Tiffany does with it because I might just have to copy whatever she does <laughs> um and then I got this so like I was saying I always feel like I need just like some generic background patterns so i got this um this is also from echo park it's the checkerboard spring collection kit but it's just 12 by 12 it's 12 12 by 12 <laughs> double-sided papers so one side is checkered one is solid and you have all these pretty pastel colors but I actually got this because there's another Echo Park collection that I ordered from my local store but they didn't get it in yet it's called have a nice day I'm pretty sure and when you see that you'll understand how well it coordinates 
with this checkerboard because it's like a 90s theme like smiley faces kind of like retro vibe which I am obsessed with so that's why I ordered this but I didn't get the the collection yet but yeah I had to have this because I love checkerboard and I love these colors so I, I don't think do you want me to open this okay let's open it <laughs> I haven't opened it myself yet so and these colors do have names, so that might be of interest to somebody. Um, and they do have two collections. One is more like kind of primary colors, but this one is the spring version. And if you guys didn't know, I really prefer more like muted and pastel colors than primary. So that's also why I got this one. Uh, but yeah here's the back this is baby blue so you get two of each yeah you get two of each paper which is good if you're making an album I feel like I always run out of these kind of papers I love this pink this is powder pink Ooh, but I love this even more <laughs> This is my favorite color right now. Let's see what it's called. Yes, lavender. I was gonna say like lilac, lavender, anything like that is my favorite color right now. So, loving this one. I also love yellow, if you didn't know. I feel like I say that in every video. <laughs> so you probably do know if you watch my other videos. Yep, yeah, this one's just called yellow. We have probably orange. Oh, carrot. This one's called carrot, which is actually very carry. So that's a good name. This one I saw in the back. It's called celery. I love this color too. That's the back. So I had to have these papers. We'll see what I do with them. Well, I am saving them for whenever the collection, the Have a Nice Day collection comes in. Because I do intend to use those together. Probably, yeah, for an album, I'm sure. Yeah, that was everything. So, uh, that was a lot of, like, random stuff. <laughs> but I hope... You found, I don't know, some inspiration or you saw something you might be interested in. Like I said, the links will be below and I'll link to um, my local store, which is Scrapbook Central. So shout out to them if they ever see this video. And yeah, that's it. So I do have another haul, maybe two <laughs> hauls, but I do want to make some tutorials also so I'm not sure what's coming next but subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more hauls um, some tutorials project shares things like that and give this video a like if you liked it and hopefully I'll see you in my next video bye